Hey guys, it's Jess and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. So today I'm going to do kind of like a random video and it's going to be talking about my most favorite long champ tote and kind of the wear and tear of having it for three years and using it every single day. It is still one of my most favorite bags. I don't use it anymore because I feel like it's just kind of gone off the deep end. But I'm going to show you what may happen to yours if you do keep it for a very long time. Um, so I have been using it for about three years, but literally I took this bag everywhere with me. To work, to the beach, everywhere. Grocery shopping, and it was it's just such a great lightweight bag um, that it never would hurt my shoulders. And it was just amazing. It's just a great basic tote. And I feel like it has those French girl vibes that I love. So I'm going to show you guys what it kind of looks like now. The first signs of aging was pretty much the bottom of the bag has four corners. So you can see, I don't know if you can see like right there, there's four of them. And I have sold this a good couple of times just to make sure that it wouldn't fall apart. And I'm not exactly sure if it would have fell apart if I didn't sew it together, but I just did it just in case because it's my favorite bag and I want it to last forever. But what later started to happen was this bubbling. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys. Can you see that in the camera? There's like all this bubbling that took place and it's pretty much the lining is separating from the top material. And of course, some of the threads will eventually kind of flare out. So that is why I decided to retire this tote. But do I still feel like it's worth it and would I repurchase it again? Yes, 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 and yes. It is such an amazing bag, completely lightweight. The only thing that I think was a little bit annoying is that the straps are really nice and long, so it does fit really well. But sometimes, for some reason, it always kind of slips. But I did ask my friend who has the same bag and she says that it annoys her too. So that is just something to keep in mind, but I kind of would like twist it almost together so that it wouldn't do that and it's not a big deal. I still loved it and I highly recommend this bag. But I just kind of wanted to talk about the wear and tear and what you can expect to happen to your long term with excessive use over three years. I'm sure you guys are curious of what I replaced this bag with. And no, I didn't replace it with a long term because I kind of wanted to treat myself to something that was not pretentious but still a little bit luxurious or maybe really luxurious. So if you guys want to see the bag that I bought after this long champ, I'm going to leave the link below and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today and I'll see you guys next time.